Uh, right, so let's. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, my name is Mark, and uh, we're just here really just to get more kind of discussions on travelling. Uh, yeah, just kind of travelling in general. And um, just kind of just talk away. It's nothing, it's kind of, it's not, nothing formal, like just discuss. Um, yeah, and there's refreshments and chocolate and stuff there if you want to turn to them. And uh, there's no really wrong well answers, really, just anything at all. Yeah, anything different, like anything is relevant. Like, uh, so we just start off there, so by just like telling about, just introducing yourself to your name and uh, like any traveling you've done in the past year. Um, start with yourself. So. My name's David. So the last year I went to Albert Fair in the summer and I went to Edinburgh last January. So. Uh, my name's Leila. I was in Edinburgh last January and I was in Spain over the summer. My name's Ellen and I was in uh, Portugal in September. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. um, my name's Laura and I was in London at Christmas last December. My name's Macy and I was in Spain last uh, my name is Gavin, I was in London about a month ago and I was in Spain over the summer. Right, uh, that's great. Um, <laughs> so like, could you just kind of explain why you like travelling? So if anyone wants to kind of just come forward and I'll give you a minute. Why you like to travel? Um, I'm studying languages, French and Spanish, so I'm really interested in different cultures and <coughs> Just kind of gathering different yeah. Okay, it's very interesting. Um, and what kind of like types of holidays do you like to go on? Then? Like, in general, what what kind of holidays do you go on? Less on holidays. Just yeah, less on holidays. Okay. Is it pairs? Yeah. We don't have enough. Oh, I see. Oh no, just sit down. Um. Yeah, there's a seat out there, but do you want to go grab one? Yeah. Sorry. Do you want to just introduce yourself or...? <laughs> um, yeah. So, like... There's out by reception, there's, like, a table. I just stole one when they weren't looking. <laughs> So we're just saying there that's about like what kind of what types of holidays you like to go on. If anyone can do like what kind of holidays? Like um a cultural holiday like or some, some holiday. what types of holidays do you generally pick? I like some holidays, some shopping holidays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would anyone go on like say like sports holidays like skiing or? Or was it all just kind of city holidays and? Yeah. 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 Okay. And like when you're organising for that, then what what are the first things you kind of do? Is it kind of like just see something online or? Google cheap flights. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And like is that is it kind of a spontaneous decision decision then when you whenever you see a good deal you just kind of? It know. is a very good deal. Yeah. Um, another chair. <laughs> um, so, like, do you, would you use social media, like, to look for all the deals, like, or what, how would you look for deals on, like? Sometimes when you're on, like, Facebook or something, you look at the site and yeah. you have to get to the bed, like, cookies and Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's mainly like social media, like Facebook, Twitter, you know, that you use. Yeah. So on Amazon as well, like, especially if you've gone to them before, you'll get emails, there's offers and deals, so mm -hmm. you can always social media, it might just be emails and stuff like that. So yeah. if, you, if you've rented them before, you... Yeah, like sometimes if you've given them their email, they'll, you know... And would you take that into account, or would you ignore the... I suppose if you weren't getting emails, you probably wouldn't see the deal anyway, so yeah, definitely like, yeah, there's yeah. people that's, I'd say, that people say that. Definitely, yeah. And uh, where else would you search for information, like apart from the social media? Trip advisor. Yeah. Yeah. What's that then? Is it? It's um, where past like guests give their reviews on like hotels or places or restaurants, uh, so you can. Just 
just gathering up other people's yeah. opinions kind of is it? Yeah. Okay. And would you follow would anyone else follow the chip advisor? Yeah, you would look at the book in and No. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah. So like would you just book online yourselves then? Is it or yeah. Yeah. I just get to book it for me. Would any of you consider a travel agency or is it all? Well, I suppose maybe like Thailand is somewhere where you would have a lot of information on. Yeah. Why is that like just? Yeah, somewhere completely like South America, somewhere where you wouldn't really know a lot or anything. Yeah. So it's just kind of basically you'd be uncertain about sorry, yeah. is that it? Okay, and like why wouldn't you use travel agents? So everyone basically said no, so I start off with you, yeah, why? I think like the price they probably add on isn't always worth what you're getting from them. Like the extra information you could probably find yourself now, whereas before you probably wouldn't find that information. And last time you went to holiday, did you like, did you look yeah, into travel agents? Yeah, last did you year compare I the used the travel agents and I probably wouldn't use the phone again. Okay. Just because I felt like that the, the extra price they charge for booking for you wasn't worth, you know, like the extra kind of information you get from the background. So they weren't really giving you enough information? Was it not that they're not giving enough, but I probably could have found it myself. I yeah. Pretty much as good as you and probably got it cheaper because I booked myself. Okay. I just found it wasn't worth, like I probably could have got the same thing myself for less money. So everything's basically online, there's no really... Yeah, like you can, like things like your price and all that kind of stuff, you can generally find out the information you need. And it's, so is there any time you would consider a travel agency then? Again, like the lad was saying, if it was to a country where I literally had no idea, you know, what was there, what the culture was like, yeah, whatever, you know. And what about you, Maisie, why wouldn't you? Um, I really enjoy, like, looking at different hotels and flights and things, but I choose my own. Oh, okay, yeah, so you'd be actually kind of good at it, really, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you'd obviously never, like, you wouldn't, wouldn't even look at a travel agency, so. If I was going to somewhere like Asia, I probably would if I didn't speak the language. And you wouldn't be able to find information on Asia, like? I probably would, but I'd just prefer. You, you yeah. wouldn't feel confident? Yeah. Okay. What about yourself, Ben? Um, yeah, I'd be the same. I'd use a travel agent if I was going somewhere completely random, like, but if I was going somewhere like Spain or something, I'd just do it myself. Because no it's just a lot easier, like, and it's cheaper as well. Would you think it's definitely cheap? Yeah, if you, you can find your own deals, like really. Yeah. I feel in um, And would you ever look in? Would you ever compare prices then, or? Um, no, I wouldn't compare with the travel agents. Like, but I am um, going to like Ryanair, whatever should I do deals all the time, and I go at a certain time of year when the deal is on. So. Also, you kind of uh, whenever like, like the time of year kind of influences that time. Yeah. Okay. So you, would you always go at Ryanair then? Yeah, well, they're usually the cheapest now, but I'm in college, of course. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, that's the only way I pick them, because they're cheap. And it would, it would, you, would that kind of change as you get older then? Or? Yeah, probably. You go for more comfort then when you're older, but at the moment it's right here. Anyway. So you'd be kind of just searching for the best value? Yeah. Um, so, why um, would you consider a travel agency? I'd kind of see them as being quite expensive, so just kind of unnecessary expense. Yeah. If it was somewhere that I wanted more security, then I'd go for a travel agent, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, what about yourself, Lynn? Um, It's kind of just more convenient to look it up yourself, like online, and it's just a bit of effort to go into town to find the time off and actually go into the travel agency. So you'd use a kind of a store instead of online travel agency? Yeah. Then? You wouldn't ever look into an online travel agency? Oh, sorry. Um, I've never thought about it, no. And uh, like, what kind of what, what what do you think of like like what kind of associations would you have with travel agencies? Like, 
Yeah. Like RJ Dynamic Young. Or do you see him as kind of like all people who come and get like go to chat places? Does anyone disagree with that or is that the general consensus? And why is that? Like is it just the not online or lack of advertising online or anything? I've never heard of an online travel agency. Yeah, no, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> and no one has heard of an online travel agency. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything like that would like encourage you to use one or like if they were if it wasn't like that much more expensive than booking out separately then I would consider it but like usually it is more expensive so I would possibly like they offered like student deals and if stuff good yeah student deals, then I would consider it. yeah so every kind of just thinks they're too expensive so is it Um, <coughs> so has anyone like a past experience with a travel agency? Has anyone actually used one except Gab, you haven't? And your past experience wasn't great? Well, it's not that it wasn't great. I mean, I got what they sold me, so I just thought that I probably could have got for cheaper if I got it better. Um, so yeah, it's not that they, it's not that the hotel wasn't what they said it was, or it's not that anything was different, it's just that I thought after looking back, I probably could have done the same thing. Okay, and like John, you said, it's kind of just the destination that makes you use travel agency. Like, what is it the length of the holiday as well, or yeah. is it just pure the the destination, or is it the so the like if you're going along a long holiday to Portugal, would you consider it? So yeah, I told Teddy before you didn't really have much plan for yourself. Okay, it's a good place after a while. At least we also travel agents. They'll give you information on what you can do in your time there and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, so Pat, you were kind of saying that you'd never consider it. Really like it was a couple of months away, but not like somewhere like Portsmouth or something. I feel like you'd figure it out because a lot of people have been there, but if it's like somewhere like South America or something that a lot of people haven't gone to yet. But, but so, yeah. like, even the length of the holiday, so if you're going for a long holiday now in Spain, would you consider it? I know, but sure. Yeah, a lot of people have been to well, like most of the parts of Spain now already. So, if you just ask around, like, you'd nearly get a few ideas on what to do. But I don't know how many people have been to like South America yet. So if yeah. you to like want to go there, it's probably go to a travel agent, but there's no good to do. Okay. Um so like have any of you heard of Jay Barter travel agencies? No. Mm -hmm. No one here has heard of any. Um <laughs> it's just uh, Patrick Street by uh Arthur Lane. Do you know the Chateau Bar? Oh, I do know it. Yeah. Like the pharmacy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's just there. I know the building for that one. Yeah. So, like, you go it. Right. And would, would you ever like, you'd be down there a lot, would you only like down that direction? Yeah. So, would you ever like not to go in there, no? Yeah. <laughs> you can go in the other <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to expect when I went in. Yeah. Like, it was And is there anything like, like anything that would make you go in there? Like, is it that it doesn't stand out or what kind of? Just haven't really heard of it. They don't really, you know, see any advertisements for it or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just like really think of spontaneously going into a travel agency. Yeah. Detail about what the deal is, but you never just go into a travel no, agency to see, like, what's yeah. Yeah. And is there any travel agency in Cardiff that anyone has used? No. <coughs> um, yeah. Do you want so a question? Yeah. yeah. So basically, if, if a travel agent had, like, we'll say, an Instagram page or a Facebook page, and they were constantly putting up, we'll say, student deals or deals that were more for younger people, which you'd be more inclined to go and book with them. Yeah. 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 Like if they were more well advertised on social media. Yeah. 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 Because you wouldn't really be going into town to look at the shop, would you? No. Yeah, or you'd yeah. yeah. see it. Yeah. Yeah. would be the only one because you'd see it. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. always not so good stuff. Yeah. So it's yeah. yeah. So it's kind of on social media so that you kind of see everything really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I don't think they market really to the... Uh, yeah. Like I, I've never felt that I've been 
been in the mm-hmm. bottom half of her term of agents for a suit instead of her younger people there. Mm-hmm. I just don't think I've ever been targeted to play a term of agents. I don't know. And has anyone ever seen an advertisement from the term of agents here on social media? Recently, a common one that will come up was. What's that? Um, I actually don't know what the initial stand for, but it kind of organises J1s and, uh, yeah. like if you want to go volunteering, it's big, mainly for students, I think, but... So would you see that as kind of a more, kind of, for the younger people, like, useful? Yeah. yeah. And why is that? Because I think it's, like, main focuses, like, J1, please ask for students, I think that's, like, they were kind of aimed towards people, like, in college. Oh. So, like... Other term agents you don't really care to for what you need. Really. I mean, they'd be like more if you had like family deals and stuff, like people with kids. Okay. Uh, if you were to take like say a gap year, would you use a travel agency then to maybe travel the yeah. world and things like that? So it was like, yeah, a multi destination holiday, yeah. changing faces over the course of the holiday, yeah, I think so. Okay, so like if it's a, uh, oh yeah. If you're like swapping faces. Like in the space of like multiple. Yeah. So if it's multiple destination, you can yeah. download use it. Okay. So like interrating now, would you use a. Like what would you do? Maybe I would yeah, consider I going, in, was going and checking travel agents today. What advice to give for interrating to see if the person they want to. Yeah. Yeah. So then just a quick question like, just what word would come into your mind when you. When I say travel agents, like yes, like what kind of associations have you like? What just any word that comes to mind? Start with you. Yeah. Have taste this. Expensive. Uh, something like my parents use. Yeah. Yeah, because they all people as well. Kind of. Yeah, fashion. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah, definitely go with fashion and you just yeah, can't do it. Yeah. Um. So like, what what would be the main like point? So like the best point. That has been made today. Mm-hmm. Like, does anyone have any ideas? Like, what, what was the best? Like, the final, like, with the most important thing said, what do you think? I think travel agents are really targeting students as much as they are, like, other um, people in the market. What kind of holidays do you think they target at people? Like, do you any. Let's say for the family holidays, is it? Yeah. Like retirement, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Cruises. <laughs> <laughs> the cruises, yeah, cruises. If you're the only people, so you all kind of look yeah. at the yeah. Well. yeah, okay. We've only done 18 minutes, <laughs> 19 minutes. Um, <laughs> um, do you have any questions? Has anyone else kind of had things that didn't go to work travel agencies? Anything else? Would it be then like a lack of stress and that you would use a travel agency for? Like you, that's why you'd book kind of the, one of the main positives of yeah. booking with them, that kind of thing, yeah. and just their expertise yeah. in yeah. the yeah yeah go back to them be like oh, exactly yeah you sort this out for me. But if you're on your own like I don't know, your hotel goes down and everything yeah you're kind of you're screwed okay so it's kind of if yeah it would just be it's more reliable if you're like going. To, as we were saying, like you know, like South America, South yeah. America, you know, Asia, just where this you'd be kind of uncertain that yeah. dodgy yeah. places, dodgy areas, so it's just kind of you know easier. Yeah. Yeah. When you're talking to someone who like knows what they're yeah. on the bed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They may have to sort it out on yeah. their end, like for you. So you're kind of in a safe spot. Right? Yeah. So it's kind of place you haven't kind of been really, is it? Yeah. yeah. And say if they were to offer cheap student deals, would you then use it for Europe, or say, or would you still go and look yourself? Would you think? I think I do both. Okay. Compare, Compare, yeah. If it's a good deal, then I think I take it. Okay. So, like, is there is there any deals kind of being targeted towards you? Like, would you think? Right here at home, I might say. Winter one is probably targeted at us. Okay, yeah. So, so it's not like for Christmas, so it's like 10 euro each way over to European places, so that's probably what they're targeting. Yeah, like I know a girl, she the other week, I think last 
think she got um, a return flight to London for 10 years. Yeah. Years, so she just decided to go. Yeah. To November. So like, would you say if you saw any good deals, would you kind of think about going somewhere? Yeah. yeah. And were any of you aware that Jay Barter actually have a section on their website just targeting people our age? No. 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 Yeah, like they plan, let's say they plan holidays specifically for our age group that last, let's say, between nine days and three weeks. So if you had known about that, would you? Would you have considered that then? Yeah. Yeah, 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 they would love to this. Yeah, it's just that it's not yeah. well advertised. Yeah. 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 They've never even heard yeah. of the company. Yeah. 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 Y
it was probably easier because there wasn't one person trying to collect money. It was a travel agent that was collecting money. So like, obviously in our music travel, they have one person looking at it, like it's one person stressed and everyone else just doesn't care. So I suppose probably not saying just the group a lot of stress as travel agent was the one sorting it and planning it. Oh, was it worth it? So would you? Was it? I suppose it would, yeah, maybe for like the less stress aspect of it. Um, and would you have saved much? Like, I don't think so. I'd say it was probably more. But it was because of the stress you had. Yeah. Like it was a big, like 14, 15, so I'd say if one person had tried to do it themselves, it probably would have ended up not that thing. Oh, well, okay. I don't know. I mean, that yeah. was just maybe, you know, yeah. yeah, and like, is there any real travel agency like that has this kind of like that you'd see as the young and like oriented towards you? Like, you know? No, Any travel not. agency out there? No? You said it would be the only one. Yeah. I wouldn't consider them for like a normal holiday, it'd only be yeah. K1s or like a long holiday. They'd be kind of Asia as well. Yeah. Just kind of again towards this, you haven't you yeah. really know. Would you consider a normal travel travel agency if they were to organise a J1 or things like that? Or would you still go with something like USIT? Probably something like USIT because they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. They probably yeah. know kind of yeah. what they're doing, whereas mm. if a travel agent are normally used to having like older people come in, yeah. they probably wouldn't like have the knowledge that my yeah. like that would. Yeah. And like how did you hear of usage then? I always see ads on Facebook. It's worth it as well, like yeah. if you've heard other people on the J1 say about oh we went through usage. I suppose with that you to like go through like passport control yeah. and like, visa and stuff like that. So it's just handier like as opposed to organising that yourself because it's a lot of hassle. Well, okay. They come on campus as well, don't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 So like, okay, so you kind of seen around campus all the time. Yeah. And have you ever seen like a travel agency around campus? Like, <laughs> or like, 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 um, and if there was like a travel agency around college, would you would you stop like or would you just ignore it and just have none? I don't know. Maybe if they had like some sort of an eye catching deal that like you like sign up for a free holiday. Or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I don't think if it was just one stand advertising, yeah. I don't think I wouldn't stop. Why so just, I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> be like sign up your email and that kind of thing for a free holiday. Yeah, yeah or I'd, I'd probably stop for that. Yeah. Okay. Just because you have certain like thoughts and yeah, to, kind of, and would you think that's hard to change? That's like yeah. like is it gone too far now? Would you all just think it's for all people like the journey way of? Start with you again. Is there any, like, what would you think they should do? Yeah, I suppose like, they definitely have like kind of old fashioned connotations, but I suppose if they did put a lot of effort into advertising towards younger people and kind of put like a big emphasis on student deals and student offers and all of for younger people over time, I suppose the perception probably would change eventually, but I don't think it would change over next time. It wouldn't be time to kind of change. Okay. And like, what would you think, basically? Um, I think if they did have student deals but weren't too expensive, I'd probably consider it. Sorry, say that again? If they didn't have, if they did have student deals and they weren't as expensive as normally using travel agents. So it's kind of offers you'd be kind yeah. of offered. Yeah. Um, what about you, Pat? Well, if they have more like that presence on social media now, it would probably make me consider like, I'll associate like travel agents with young people. Like that's the idea of it, but at the moment like you don't see them anywhere, so. I think they're like for different age groups, in other words. So if you do like more advertising on like applications that we use, maybe I will consider using them in the future. But so is it really they should really focus on social media? Yeah, I'm sure like so. Yeah, social media 